Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and today we're going to be doing a rather uh, silly uh, video about how we talk about memory speeds, because I'm sure that, you know, if you watch my channel, you're fully aware that 4000 megahertz is like th this right here on, on G-Skill website, this is just not correct. A DDR4 4000 memory kit does not run at 4000 megahertz. It runs at 2000 megahertz, and because it's double data rate memory, right, that's what the DDR stands for, double data rate, uh, because it's double data rate memory, it actually transfers uh, two bits per, well, it can transfer two bits every clock cycle. Um, so you get, you know, an effective memory speed of 4,000 megabits per second, not mega transfers. Mega transfers is a stupid term, and there's a few reasons for why I think mega transfers is a stu stupid term to use for referring to memory speeds. One, it is inconsistent. Right? This is Samsung. Samsung, this is Samsung's product, uh, DDR4 product catalog. Samsung is one of the largest, if not the largest, DDR4 manufacturers on the planet. Samsung refers to memory speeds in megabits per second, because that is a sensible unit to use. <laughs> right? So all of their DDR4, they refer to it in megabits per second. They refer to their memory module speeds. Uh, and their HBM speeds in bits per second. Again, like obviously the units are a bit different for HBM because HBM is very, very fast. But honestly, we could also talk about, uh, you know, 3200 megabits. That's just 3.2 gigabits per second. That's a 32, uh, so 3.2 gigabit uh, per second memory chip over there. Um, and for module, me memory modules, we've got uh, sort of the same thing, if I could just click, oh wait, we need to scroll all the way to the bottom, yeah. So if you look at their DRAM, like, these are full modules, and again, they're referring to them in megabits per second, because uh, what, the hell are, what the hell is a mega transfer? Uh, if we go over to Nanya's website, Nanya is one of the smallest DDR4, uh, well, DRAM manufacturers in general. Um, Anyway, their DDR2 product catalog in megabits per second. Their DDR4 product catalog, guess what? It's also in megabits per second. I have no idea, like, the, the only place I found mega transfers is Micron's DDR division, specifically their DDR division. Here in, this da in their data sheets, we have uh, mega transfers. If we go back to their website, their website actually just doesn't specify any units whatsoever. It just goes DDR4-3200. And this is actually a perfectly valid way of referring to uh, DDR memory speeds. Just saying DDR, what version of the DDR, and then, a, then the effective speed, that is a totally valid way of doing it. But a lot of the time you start saying the word, you know, oh, this memory kit runs at 3200, and then you're like, uh, 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 am I, am I going to say megahertz? Don't say megahertz, say megabits per second, because megabits per second is correct, and it's cons consistent with all of the various DRAM manufacturers. For example, SK Hynix, which also refers to megabits per second for both their memory modules, as well as their actual, you know, DDR, like the individual separate chips, uh, and their LPDDR, and their everything. Like, Nobody uses mega transfers except Micron's uh, DDR division, which, like, it's super weird, because if we go over to their uh, GPU uh, memory, like, say, GDDR5, uh, oh, look at that, that's gigabits per second. I don't see no mega transfers here. So I have no, like, <laughs> I don't see no mega transfers here either. So, uh, you know, bits per second is the superior way to talk about memory speeds. Um, and then if we go to AMD's website, for GPUs, like, the, the thing is, the norm for talking about GPU memory speeds has been bits per second for years. So it's super weird that, like, you know, when we're talking about GPUs, we talk about bits per second as our memory speed, and when we talk about, um, memory sticks, for some reason we, we're gonna talk about mega transfers. What, what the hell? Where did they come from? What is this? I, I guess they came from Micron's documentation, but, like, why? <laughs> um, so for, and, and the other thing is like, well, one thing I've seen people bring up is that megabits per second gets kind of confusing because you might confuse it with the overall memory bandwidth. But like we, again, with GPUs, you just say your memory speed and then you say the memory bus width, right? And, you, and, and that's how you get your up to theoretical memory bandwidth, right? Like that's why we have the up to because you're not actually going to be using every available data transfer to transfer data due to how memory fun actually functions. Um, so you're never going to up, uh, like, so a 16 gigabit per second, 256 bit wide uh, memory uh, system will never achieve a 512 gigabyte per second uh, data, like memory bandwidth. But uh, yeah, you know, like that's been the norm for GPUs, like RX 580, uh, eight gigabits per second, right? Um, 
actually if we go to the RX 470 and we go to the specs again gigabits per second like I have no idea like so what I like about the idea of just using megabits per second for everything is one it matches the terminology that the majority of memory manufacturers use I mean, you could argue that even if only Samsung used megabits per second, that it's the majority of memory manufacturers because they do make the most DRAM. Um, or at least they make the most DDR4 as far as I know. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, so that, that's sort of the, the first thing is just like, it's nice to have the consistency. Secondly, um, you know, it sort of forces people to think about the bus width of their various DDR memory systems, right? Because with GPUs, the whole reason, like, w we talk about the speed and the bus width. And so a single DDR4 memory channel is 64 bits wide. Um, a dual channel CPU is 128 bits wide. A quad channel CPU is 256 bits wide. A hexa channel CPU is 384 bits wide, and so on and so on. You know, like octa core, like octa channel is uh, is 512 bits wide, and then you just refer to the memory speed in megabits per second, uh, which like that's this is just far more sensible than using freaking me mega transfers. So first, the the first problem I have with mega transfers is they're inconsistent. As far as I can tell, the only people that talk about mega transfers are uh, Micron and people on the internet correcting you when you say 4,000 megahertz instead of 4,000 megabits per second, you know? Um, like, I, it's really weird to me, actually, that it's like, wh when you miss, like, when you misspeak about effective memory speed, right? The, co the usual correction you get is that you're supposed to say mega transfers, but it's like... But this is bits. This is megabits. This is also bits. This is bits. This is bits. Like, do all the people correcting you on the internet just read the mi Micron documentation? Because, like, even Micron's own product catalog doesn't use mega transfers. It's not until you get into the data sheet that that term comes up. Um, all right, and then, of course, their, their GDDR uh, uh, stuff just, well, they, they actually don't list the speeds here at all. But if we go to their um, ultra band, well, if we go to their like GDDR6X page, then again, we're back to bits per second over here, right? So yeah, that's kind of the thing. So first of all, it's inconsistent. The other thing that I don't like about saying mega transfers is just saying mega transfers, like saying megabits per second is far faster and far easier. It rolls off the tongue better than saying mega transfers per second, right? Because the, the whole, the word transfers, um, it breaks, like when, when you're trying to say it quickly, it sort of breaks up the whole thing as far as I'm concerned. So I don't like mega transfers because like they're inconsistent. It's hard to say. And that's the end of the story. Like we should just refer to all memory speeds as megabits per second so that, you know, we're in line with the actual memory manufacturers themselves. And also like it's consistent for both CPUs and GPUs. Like why should CPUs have their memory speed be, be referred to in completely different units from GPUs when like GDDR is basically fancy DRAM, <laughs> basically fancy DDR. Um, like, yeah, so. So that's that's sort of my, my thoughts on the whole, you know, using mega transfers as a unit thing, which is that it's a terrible unit. We should just talk about megabits per second. And personally, going forward in my own videos, I will refer to, like, if I start saying, oh, this is a 4,000, you know, memory kit, I will say 4,000 megabits instead of stumbling into mega transfers awkwardly. Or what I sometimes do is just say DDR4, for, you know, go like 4,000, oh wait, DDR4, 4,000, which is actually accurate. If you just put the DDR in front of it, that, that works out just fine. But you could also just like finish the, the word you're saying and then go add megabits. Well, finish the number you're saying and add megabits to the end of it. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, a few people are gonna, like, I'm, I'm assuming initially people will find that confusing, but at least, like, it's consistent with the manufacturers, um, and it's not as hard to say as freaking mega transfers. <laughs> like, so, uh, like, yeah, so I don't like the term mega transfers per second, I like megabits per second, and, uh, that's all I wanted to say in this video, um, just, um, 
going forward, megabits per second. So there, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave any comments, questions, suggestions down in the comment section below. Um, you know, show your support for megabits per second, because it is the superior way to refer to mem mem effective memory speeds. Um, and uh, yeah, um, if you'd like to support what I do here with the channel, I have a Patreon. There's a link to that down in the des description below. There's also the HOC Teespring store where you can pick up shirts, stickers, posters, you know, the usual uh, YouTuber merch would be much appreciated if you check that out. And uh, yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.